Hello. Today we are opening uh, the second International Blend for Web Conference. I see here in the hall much more people than it was last year. I'm very glad to see you all. Today we are, as it was in last year, we are going to have uh, an online streaming as well. There will be an online chat in which uh, everybody who is watching us now uh, can ask their questions uh, to speakers, except me. So, and today I'd like to begin with uh, a short overview of what blend for web is. Uh, in case uh, we got here some new people who are not familiar with blend for web so I, I will speak about uh, what is new since the first conference, make some comparison, and speak about why we are doing this. So, and the first thing I'd like to start from is, of course, WebGL. WebGL is basically a technology which makes available hardware accelerated 3D graphics in the browser. So the main feature is that you, do, you no longer require any installations. You just open your browser, go to a website, and run 3D graphics. This technology is based on mobile uh, technology, so that it's supposed to work across mobile systems on phones, tablets, and so on. It is pretty established technology. Kronos ratified the standard in uh, 2011. And for now, it is already available to 95% of users. So pretty established standard. Everything is nice, everything is good, but not as good uh, because uh, WebGL is practically impossible to use for normal people. Also, developers need to do some non-WebGL stuff as well. Creating content is out of scope, so 3D artists cannot use WebGL basically, directly, of course. So, and the problem is uh, WebGL is not actually cross-platform. It can work differently, uh, and behavior depends on browser, operating system, hardware, and even driver version. Yeah, disappointing. Yet, uh, so uh, there are WebGL frameworks which make life of developers much easier, and blend for web is one of them. It exists a pretty long time, it's like seven years already, and the main feature which distinguishes it from other software is that it is based on Blender, an open source program uh, used for creating 3D content. Uh, we think that Blender allows you to uh, create content even without programming, so it's accessible, and it's very good. Uh, here are some applications created with Blend for Web. If you didn't try it yourself, you can do it using this uh, address. Uh, so pretty awesome, it uh, should work uh, everywhere, on desktop, on phones, and so on. So uh, I invite you to try out, and I continue. So uh, what we achieved since the first conference, and uh, the first great thing that happened right after the first conference is that uh, NASA's uh, Blend for Web application was nominated and won a Webby Award uh, which is very prestigious internet award, also known as Internet Oscar. So we were very happy, and uh, we were very happy um, by the fact that actually NASA presented Unity application as well, but it didn't want, so yeah, that's great. Uh, WebVR. On the first conference, we showed some WebVR experience to you, but now much more headsets are supported. So we supported Samsung Gear VR uh, and, of course, HTC Vive together with controllers, so you can try it out outside the hall. 
much more tutorials and documentation was written and uh, the documentation is as twice as big as it was in last year and uh, we started uh, and uh, finish it, uh, uh, the whole book, which is uh, available online from our site. Cycles is a non-real-time renderer available in Blender. A cycles is intended for creating movies and uh, uh, still images. But what if an artist already has such content? So that's, uh, now it is possible to bring all this content created for movies to web browsers. So that's what we are working for, on. And this year, a new version of technology, WebGL, uh, appeared, which offers much more features and it works faster. And we already supporting WebGL too. We also uh, participating in the development of Blender itself. Blender is developed by Blender Institute, located in Amsterdam. Pablo, <laughs> Pablo will speak about it uh, a bit later. Uh, so we are working hard on it as well. And uh, what's new and uh, uh, will be described later in this conference. A bit of comparison and uh, FreeGS is a powerful engine which can display cubes, for example. Uh, it can display a green cube, a red cube, and the magenta cube, and even yellow cubes. But still, as speaking, blend for web offers creating WebGL interactive content even without any coding, and that's why artists like blend for web a lot. So artists like blend for web a lot. You can create materials even without coding, absolutely, and even simple interactivity using the logic editor. And there is a magic button. You click on it, and it appears in the browser, and this is cool. And therefore, more asset, more, more quality, faster, and with less effort. Here, another competitor, competitor and uh, the conference, they are creating problems and then solving them on the conferences. So the thing is the reason that Unity is written not for web, and this is the root of all evil. Other stuff depends on it. So files are bigger, memory consumption bigger, uh, crashes, uh, doesn't work, slow, so on, so on, so on. So I'd like to speak about who are using Blend for Web now. And our observations is that Blend for Web is mostly used by corporate customers and for non-gaming purposes. And the main areas are listed here. This is the first is marketing and PR. So they are creating applications and use it not for sale of itself, but rather for attracting new customers to their main products. For e-commerce as well, so it's like infrastructural projects offering uh, 3D configurators and uh, means to sell products. For e-learning and heritage, and we will have some presentations here today explaining how to use it. And uh, here are main regions uh, blend for web uh, users live in. Here are some users. In comparison with uh, last year, we got much more users, uh, high profile users. And uh, we are very glad this, is, uh, this means that uh, the trend is uh, ascending. So we like, we like it a lot. So 3D technologies are widespread. This is great. Uh, here, I'd like to make a little pause and show you some of these applications recorded on a uh, small video. Just enjoy. Thank you. 
Blood for Web. So uh, I'd like to uh, present here today uh, two of our most prominent customers. Uh, the first customer of ours is Animagraphs. This is an uh, interactive studio based in the United States. They used to create GIF animations, but now they work with Blend for Web and they create amazing presentations on how different things work. So how cars work, how engines work, uh, how ships work, watch work, and so on, so on. Amazing applications, dozens of applications they're creating right now quickly, efficiently, and they are beautiful and very useful uh, for understanding things. And uh, the main their profile is that they're creating content for corporate blogs, news channels, so that uh, companies can attract more people to sell their main products by presenting these attractive presentations. And you can try it for yourself, animegraphs.com. I strongly recommend you to visit this website. Even if you are not going to develop 3D graphics, this is amazing. And the second company is called v Circle. They are a German company. They used Unity 3D for many years, but now they are using Blend for Web, of course. They are specializing on 3D product configurators. So this is a configurator, for example. They created furniture configurator. They created sh uh, shopping trolleys configurator and uh, a, lot of, a lot of other configurators. So very interesting, very pleasing. I, I want to buy this product because it looks great, because I can see it and uh, I'm engaged in it. So that's why uh, these circle solutions are used in e-commerce widely. So you can try their website. They have some information about what they are doing. I invite you. And here is a recent application we created, uh, this company created for official uh, Chevrolet dealer uh, in the countries of Middle East and this shows you how blend for web is used in high profile uh, demonstration for uh, billion uh, cost uh, industry uh, or automotive industry so this is amazing uh, they just released it a few days ago, so it is even we didn't even add it to the gallery. Yeah, blend for web. So uh, what I tried to say to you, both these companies uh, have something in common. They specifically targeting 3D web marketing. They specifically create applications using Blend for Web. They don't lo no longer create movies. They no longer model something. They no longer uh, render some images. They just understood how this market is so perfect perspective. So it is a growing trend. And uh, the demand is quite big already. So we every week, every day, we have a phone call. They are asking, I'd like to create a car configurator. I like to create a jewelry configurator. I like to create a presentation and so on and so on. So we are just observing this. And uh, Blend for Web actually allows them to create contact quickly. So it's like a conveyor. So they are creating this two weeks and they're creating another application and another application. So it is it's like a factory. They both participate in our partnership program. Partnership program basically allows you to license your customers 
without us. So we delegate the right to license your customers. And these customers are rather prominent. They are high profile. And this is amazing how blend for web is spreading across the world. Uh, the more companies, more companies, and more companies are using blend for web So that's what I'd like to say to, for today. I invite you to try WebVR booth outside the hall. Uh, I invite you to uh, enjoy this conference, learn. I, I am hope that I hope that it will be useful for you and uh, helpful for you for your business and for your development if you are a developer. So enjoy the conference. Thank you very much.